All right, part three of the question. What they're saying is that you should write down a two by two matrix representing the matrix product A times A inverse. Now you should know what is going to happen when you multiply A by A inverse, All right? Is going to be the unit matrix. So, a num if a number times its inverse, its multiplicative inverse gives you one. That's unity. The matrix times its inverse should give you the unit matrix. Now I've saved a inverse instead of trying to remember what it was. So, it's right here. Let's see what's going to happen. A by A inverse. A times A inverse is equal to A is 3, 2, 5, 4 times A inverse is 2, negative 1, negative 5 over 2, 3 over 2, 3, 3 negative 5 halves and 3 halves. So let's see. A times A inverse equals it's going to be a big long matrix. Let me not close it yet. Don't know how much space I'm going to need. It's as usual row by column. It's going to be here on the left upper left will fall in row one, column one. So it's going to be row 1 times column 1. The first elements multiplied plus the second elements multiplied. The first elements 3 and 2. So it's going to be 3 by 2. 3 times 2 plus the second elements 3 by negative 5 halves. So it's no two by negative five halves. Two times negative five halves. Alright, good. Here. The element here will fall in row one, column two. So it's going so you're going to be multiplying row one this row by column 2, this column. Okay, so the first elements multiplied plus the second elements multiplied. First element in row 1, 3 times first in column 1, negative 1. 3 by negative 1, 3 times negative 1 plus the second elements now, 2 by negative 3 halves. 2 times negative 3 halves. Alright. Good. This element is in row 2. The bottom row. Row 2 and column 1. So it's going to be let me get rid of this. So this is going to be row 2, column 1. So this row, row 2, times, row 2 times this column. This row by this column. So first elements, row 2, first is 5, column 1. First is 2, is 5 by 2, 5 times 2 plus. Second elements, 4 by negative 5 halves. 4 times negative 5 halves. Alright. Now the element here will be in the same row here, row 2. And the second column, column 2. So this is going to be. Let me just jot it down here, row 2, column 2. 
is row 2, column 2. So this row, row 2 times new column. Now, column 2. Good. Row 2, column 2. The first elements in them. First is 5 in row 2. And the first in column 2 is negative 1. So it's 5 by negative 1 now. So it's 5 times negative 1 plus the seconds. Row 2, column 2. Second, 4 by second, 3 halves. 4 times 3 halves, 3 over 2. Good. So we have that cleared up now. So A times A inverse is equal to 3, 2, 6. It's going to be plus negative. So it's a plus 2 by negative 5 halves. So well, you know that 2 will cancel 2. 2 to 2, 1, 2 to 2, 1. So it's negative 5. 6 plus negative 5. Here, 3 by negative 1 is negative 3 plus 2 will cancel 2 and leave negative 3 alone. And close the bracket from now. Now, this one going to be 5 by 2, 10 plus, alright, 2 into 2, 1, 24, 2, going to be 2 times negative 5, and here 5 by negative 1, negative 5 plus, what's going to happen here, 2 into 2, 1, 24, 2, 2 by 3, 2 by 3, alright, let's simplify it a little further, a by A inverse equals 6 minus 5 is 1, alright? Negative 3. This is going to be... Where did I get this negative from? This should have been negative 3 plus 2 by negative 3. Oh. Let's look at this one again. Negative 3. 3, yeah, 3 by negative 1, negative 3 plus 2 by 3 over 2. Where did I get this negative from? That negative isn't supposed to be there. So, so this negative was not supposed to be there. Right. So 3 by negative 1 is negative 3 plus 2 by 3 over 2, right, it's 3. Negative 3 plus 3 is 0. So this is 0. Alright. 10 plus. So it's 10 plus 2, 5, negative 10. It's going to be 10 minus 10. And negative 5 plus 3, 2, 6. So let's simplify it even further now. So it's 1, 0. What happened here? 10 minus 10 is 0. And negative 5 plus 6 is 1. Alright, so it's a unit matrix. 1, 0, 0, 1. So the elements in the leading diagonal are 1 and the other elements are 0. So this is the, the matrix that you're looking for. Good. Alright, so that's it for part A of question 11. We'll move to the next part later.